take a guess at how much this Pyrex 322 clear bottom bowl is at Goodwill. Yes, go ahead, type in your answer down in the comments below, and stay tuned to find out how much this bowl is actually selling for, and if I bought it or not. Hey there everyone, welcome to my channel Kiwi's Collectibles. My name is Pam and today I'm taking you to the Goodwill in Lexington, South Carolina with me. This is a pretty nice store that recently opened up a boutique inside of their retail store. Now the boutique is where they put all of their fancier items and I'm sure it's for a much larger price. Both days that I visited this store to make this video, the boutique has been closed. They don't open their doors until 10 a.m. and I'm usually hitting the store at 9 and I'm out of there by 10. But I was able to get a sneak peek through the window. It looks like they have the nicer clothing, belts, handbags, shoes, accessories, all the good stuff. But there's lots of good things to be found at this Goodwill, so grab your coffee, grab your tea, and let's get started. That was a nice looking Kentucky Derby souvenir glass. And we're going to have to do a little bit of digging today. Not so bad though. I also see someone's picture of their pet. That's the second time in, gosh, the last two months that I've seen that at Goodwill. It does break my heart. This serenity prayer plaque is worn for the wear, but the meaning behind the prayer does stand the test of time. While things were falling off the shelves, I found this Anchor bottle opener. It was in its original packaging, and I like to look at those types of items when I'm in Goodwill. Yes, that is a Darth Vader helmet. My husband is a big collector of Star Wars memorabilia. And in this moment, I turned off my camera and gave him a quick call to see if he wanted it or not. This was not a bog bag, but it was made by Simply Southern, which is a brand definitely here in the South. Not sure if it's anywhere else, but the bag looked a little scratched. I did leave it behind, and I kind of feel like I regret that, but what's done is done. Look at this cute little doggy bank. I love how his face is so big. He was made out of resin and just adorable. I found two packaged sets of the vintage black octagonal plates and bowls by Arca Rock. Now these may sell online for up to $50 for each pack, but Having them in my booth, they may sit for a long time before they sell, so I left those behind. I also found these Temptations by Terra glass storage bowls with their lids. They were in really good condition. 
I've got to check the artwork before I leave. And I noticed this picture. It had a really big stain on it. And it was $15.99. I don't know. I, I don't understand the pricing. It had too much damage. I continued to look at the artwork. And I came across these really pretty Christmas prints. I loved the way they looked. I could definitely clean these up and put these in the booth. I loved everything about these prints except for the price. Yeah, $26.99. I almost fell out. So I left them there. I took a little peek at the furniture and I loved this baker's rack. It was in really good condition. I was surprised to see it still here, to be honest with you. $39.99, that's not a bad price. Check it out, y'all. This section is close to the front door, but I decided to check it out last today. I see a chopper there. There were lots of this and that's on this shelf. I found some Carl's Jr. El Diablo glasses. I don't know what kind of sandwich they were promoting, but it doesn't sound like it would work well with my stomach. I did notice over here these wooden bowls and this wooden egg platter. I thought it was a really neat shape. And I've never seen a wooden egg tray like that before. These were fun, but they were certainly beat up quite a bit. Someone donated all of their bears collection. Now these are not Boyd's bears. They may be from Dollar Tree or like a Dollar General type store. But this one was really cute. And of course we have some useful items here, but I don't know, $30, that's kind of a lot. I found more Temptations and this piece looks like it's part of a larger set. It should have a wire rack and maybe even a deep dish. This looks like it could be a Dutch oven or maybe even a crock pot. I know it's not a crock pot, but it has that look to it. They were some really nice pieces there. We are now headed into the second trip to this particular Goodwill. I noticed right away this sandwich board. I liked it. It would be great for an outdoor flea market, but I didn't want to pay $40 for it, so I left that behind. I always love finding these brass candlesticks. Typically, they come in a set of seven. I could only find four here. And these thermoses are great to use as decor during Christmas time. I love that plaid pattern. Check out these fun eyeglass holders. This definitely would be useful. I just throw my glasses up on the nightstand at night. These are so fun. And if you don't like the color, you can spray paint them any color that you wanted. I found this butter bell. It looks as if it's a contemporary one made out of stoneware and a cute little salt or pepper shaker. These dishes were so pretty, but I don't think they all match. The top bowl looked to be clear glass 
and the bottom bowls and plates looked as if they were made out of ceramic. This was an anchor hocking casserole dish. I'm sure it had a lid somewhere in the store or maybe it was broken at home and that's why this bottom piece was donated. I wasn't sure exactly who made this. I didn't get a picture of the bottom, but I thought this was a really pretty dish. Oh my goodness, look at this sweet little angel. She is so pretty. I think she might be a music box. There was a little Made in Japan sticker on the bottom, $1.99. Oh my goodness. This is the bottom part of a glass cloche. It's made by Goodwood. I loved it, but it did have a big crack, but it's still usable, just not something I would want to sell. Oh my gosh, look at these stairs. This would be perfect for Kibi to use getting on the bed. We do have stairs at home for her, and these are a great price. Of course, I'm gonna check out the furniture. I was a little taken back by some of these prices. And remember earlier in the video, we saw someone's bear collection. On the left, you saw those bears. I took a look at this little froggy bank. A little Halloween. Yeah, we do have Halloween and Christmas out all year long. A marble egg which is a great thing to find, but that one was $1.99, and I don't sell marble eggs for much, much more, so I left that marble egg behind. Take a look at this Pyrex. I could not, what? Wait a minute, is that $23.99? You've gotta be kidding me. Are they for real? I put it back quickly on the shelf. I found this very interesting. This is authentic Choctaw language. This is a book and a cassette. You know, cassettes have been long gone, so this is definitely vintage. I mean, do they still make pantyhose? I have not worn pantyhose in years. Maybe they were the knee-high stockings, but I haven't worn those either, so I just thought I would take a look at them. The first thing I want to share with you is the sweetest little Christmas angel. I collect angels like this, and I will be keeping her for my own personal collection. Yes, I bought the Pyrex, and I know what you're thinking. I must have been crazy, but I wasn't. A Goodwill worker brought out a cart, and I asked the worker if the $23.99 price tag was correct. He said, absolutely not. He took the bowl up front, came back, put a $1.99 price tag on it, and told me that oftentimes... They forget to switch the price on the pricing gun between items. So it never hurts to ask about prices at your local Goodwill. All right, everyone, that's it. Thanks so much for watching. If you enjoy this type of content, I would love it if you would leave me a comment down below, like this video, and subscribe to my channel. So until next time, everyone, bye-bye.